The Making Memories exhibition shares learning and artwork from a local project aiming to inspire nursery children into creative learning. It involved children from First Steps Nursery who wanted to do something special to commemorate their 25th anniversary. Because the cathedral and the arts centre were already doing projects around memory, we thought it would be a good idea to do a project about making memories, because obviously our customers are very tiny, so we wanted to be the ones that were inspiring them and helping them make a memory that they would treasure forever. It was quite important for me, because we're a city centre nursery, that it was based in the community. So the project is about allowing children to be outside and explore. So at the nursery, we do have an outside space, but it's not particularly big. Um, so we wanted to get the children out into the community, out into the secret garden, which most of them had never been to before, and to see how they would react to creating and learning in an outside space. We didn't instigate anything, we followed their lead, so it was all child-led learning the, the entire way through. The children were let loose in the Secret Garden, a community garden space in the centre of Salisbury. For Lee, this wasn't just about having fun though. She believes there is also an educational value to creative learning. It's massively important in the early years curriculum. Um, it's kind of the only time that children will have in their educational careers at the moment, the way that the curriculums in primary and secondary schools are, to dictate themselves how they want to learn. And so if we can plant that seed of making them want to explore and be inquisitive and ask questions and, and try things out for themselves, that will set them up for when they go on to primary and secondary education. It's um, giving them a kind of benchmark, a, a way in which they can make good choices about what they want to do and how they want to create things. As well as the nursery, the project also involved a local visual artist who came up with different experiences for the children. There's a lot of multi-sensory multi play, so we've provided them with, um, as well as what's in the garden already, we've provided them back at the nursery with um, resources to bring the outside in and things that are obviously safe, but um, with the babies we're giving them a lot of fresh herbs they can taste and, and smell, things like fruit that's frozen into ice, they can suck it and pick it here. And, um, and then in the garden itself we've given them binoculars and magnifying glasses and tools which enable them to become explorers. So as well as being practically useful, that actually helps them take on that role, so there's a certain amount of role play in there as well. And as an artist, James was involved with documenting the entire process that culminates here at the Salisbury Art Centre. Out of 700 pictures, they managed to whittle it down to just 54. The, the exhibition has a lot of photography in it because it's around, rather than the project being so much about end products, it's about recording the process. So it's about uh, supporting the children to explore. So they've been explorers in the garden and whatever they've explored, we've followed them and we've recorded that and we've provided them with opportunities to, uh, to take that further, to deepen their learning in ways that are appropriate to their interests and the things that they're excited about. So there's the photographs that document that process, but then there's also artwork that I've made in response to my time with the children. As well as James being inspired to create new works, the children also made scrapbooks to show what they got up to at home during the project. From its conception to seeing the pictures on the wall of the gallery has taken just three months and for those involved seeing the finished product means a lot. It's really special to see them all up there. Um, the enjoyment, all of them had the most amazing experience. They couldn't wait to get to the secret garden, they couldn't wait for James to come into the building. Um, it was something that they were going home and talking to their parents about and the parents were able to tell us that. So for all of them I do think we have made a memory for them. I do think it is something that they're going to remember for a long time to come. The exhibition will run until the 16th of September and is free to attend. Raya Barton, that's